I'm Tom Elton, Cloudflow Product Manager at Hybrid Software. And today, I'd like to explore what's at the heart of every single Cloudflow, the workspace. Workspace is one of the many modules that sits under the Cloudflow umbrella. In fact, Cloudflow is a modular server-based application which operates in both physical and virtual environments, whether on-premise or hosted in the cloud. It also boasts impressive flexibility and scalability, which is installable on Windows, Mac and Linux, and can be clustered for enterprise configurations. However, today we're focusing on the workspace more from a user's perspective. This demonstration will mostly take place in the browser, where I'll show you how to manage your assets from anywhere, integrate with desktop applications such as desktop editors or your file explorer, and use simple but powerful file and folder management automation along with notifications and tasks. We'll also look at user accounts with set permissions and applied data access control, not to mention the customizability and bespoke portal building tools, but also the fully documented API reference for integrating with third-party applications such as an MIS or ERP. I log into Cloudflow using my browser and as you can see here my personalized homepage is dynamic and was built using Workspace's drag and drop interface builder. From here I can use the asset viewer to traverse directories to find my files. Once I've found the file I'm looking for I can view its metadata, looking at its page boxes, separations, layers and external image references. Reference image links are resolved using configurable folder mappings and are cross-platform compatible. There is a convenient breadcrumb trail which I'm using to locate the job folders that I can interact with using my desktop. All changes I make are indexed live and recognized by Cloudflow. And vice versa, any changes I make in Cloudflow are obviously visible back in my file explorer. For instance, when updating a barcode, the metadata is also updated live in Cloudflow within seconds. The Asset Viewer also includes a powerful search engine where I can search for files of the type PDF that have been tagged as pre-pressed documents. Once I can view the results of these files, I can treat them like any other, for instance by adding additional tags. Once I'm happy with the search results, I can then save this query for reuse later on. While I can add tags manually to my documents, this is one of the many actions that can be automated either with workflows or using the API, which is perfect for integration with third-party systems, especially since there are over 900 API calls available. Now let's look to an example scenario where a customer delivers some files to a pre-press provider and the CSR of said provider can then review those files. To begin, I log in as a label customer and can see my dynamic homepage, which has a personalized company logo, welcome message and a YouTube video. One of these widgets is a simple upload form that allows me to send files to my prepress provider with ease. I will also log in as a folding carton customer and you can see the page reacts accordingly with a personalized welcome message and YouTube video. After uploading some more files, I log out to assume the position of the CSR from the prepress provider so we can look at the review step. The CSR from the prepress company has been notified via email with all the relevant information and given a convenient link to the task in Cloudflow. After following that link, you can see how many tasks are awaiting your attention and inspect the files either using the desktop browser or the asset viewer where you can see additional metadata and the custom tags. Here I choose to approve these files from the folding cart and customer and pass them along to the prepress department. I've also chosen to reply to the customer so that they know their files have been received and accepted. However, 
after inspecting the delivery from the label customer, I can see some of the files are missing. So I will reject this and request for all the files to be resent so we can continue with the work. The customer is automatically notified via email. Coming back to the files that we've just inspected, a new job folder has been created for the approved files and these have been moved into the supplied files subfolder. So everything is neatly packaged for the pre-press department when they begin their work on this job. In the other scenario for the files that were rejected, these have been automatically tagged as rejected so they're not accidentally used by the pre-press team. We have reached the end of the video demonstration. I'd like to thank you for your attention and please don't forget to check out our other videos on the YouTube channel.